Good evening, it's Dr. Casbia. A lot of us have had a long day today. So I thought we could use a nice relaxing yin pose. Yin poses are a slower form of yoga and they're held for longer periods of time. And they really implement stillness. And I think there's such a great power in stillness. So I'd like to share with you supported fish because of a lot of my patients and a lot of us spend our days rounded forward, including myself. So when we round forward, we're putting a lot of compression in this part of our spine. We're also squishing our shoulders for lack of a scientific word, um, causing some tingling at times. And when we remain like this and continue to do things, we're putting some repetitive strain into our, our spine. So let's be kind to our spine here. So start with a block on its lowest setting. You want to place it just below the shoulder blades here. Kind of come down. And the other block can be at a little higher setting if you'd like. I like mine a little bit lower. We want our arms in a T shape. And you can extend your legs out. You can place a pillow underneath your knees and bring the soles of your feet together if you'd like to get double stretcher. Just breathe. Allow your jaw, your face, your teeth to all relax. As you breathe in, feel your chest rising and opening. And as you breathe out, just melt into your blocks. You can stay here for a minute, three minutes, five minutes, seven minutes. If your body's wise, it will tell you when it's time to come out. And when you choose to come out of this pose, please do so very gently. Maybe with the help of your hands, bring your knees together. And I like to roll to my side to get out of the pose and do it again very slowly because we've been holding this pose for quite a few minutes. So that was supported fish. If there's one pose you can start off with today, a yin pose, I recommend supported fish. It just feels great. Have a great day.